Hi fans of high quality entertainment. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for quite a while. And as some of you know, I love rock and roll. That's right. And so I've gathered up 12 uh, live performances that I've uh, seen mainly on, on YouTube through the years. And I've ranked them from 12 to 1. But all 12 are great. And by the way, there are some, you know, there's Queen at Live Aid that's not included. It's a great performance. Uh, th th you know, there's so many, you know, Led Zeppelin, uh, great performances. But these are the ones, these 12 are the ones that mean a lot to me for whatever reason, you know, more, more personal reasons sometimes. And so, uh, for YouTube, of course, I can't play the music or the video might be blocked, but I'll have a link for the, for all of the videos. And there's about a minute for each of the videos. And the number one is the full performance. I'll have a Patreon link. If you want to check out the whole video without it, uh, being altered, you know, the music being sped up or whatever. And I'll just talk about each performance a little bit, and uh, here we go. So number 12, and like I said, it's about a minute of uh, performance for each of these clips. You can see all, almost all of these clips on YouTube if you just do a simple search. This is Frank Zappa live, and he is doing Muffin Man. And just an, an, an amazing guitar solo. You'll see at one point he's shaking hands with the fans in the crowd and he's still playing the guitar <laughs> and it's still sounding good. So here it is. And, you know, usually, usually with Frank Zappa, he's not showing off with speed. He's just a great guitarist, but obviously in that song, he's, <laughs> he's pretty fast. So that's number 12. Number 11 is... Yeah, this is the Sensational Alex Harvey Band. Uh, not the greatest video quality or sound, but still, what a an amazing performance. The, the whole song is, I think, over 10 minutes long. This is, like I said, just about a minute of it. And you can tell he kind of wins over the crowd by the end of the song. And then there's uh, Zal Clemmingson. Well, the whole band is great, but Zal Clemmingson in his clown makeup, he's such a superb guitarist. So here we go with Framed by the Sensational Alex Harvey Band at number 11. <laughs> I had to, I have to re rewind that. I, I forgot about this guy's stunned reaction. <laughs> it's like he, he doesn't get it, right? <laughs> or he could be stoned. <laughs> So oh, yeah, that's the sensational Alex Harvey band. So number 10 is, let me see here. Oh, it's a band called Rush. Now, you know, I'm ranking them, but I mean, all of these performances are, are number one in my heart. 
And this was, you know, sadly from their last uh, live concert, I believe. No, no, no. This is this was from Cleveland. Yeah, so it was maybe a couple years before uh, they stopped touring. And just, they're all on fire. Here we go. Working man. Yeah, so that was Rush. And I think even at that time, Alex Lifeson, you know, he was strict, strict. Well, they probably all were with, you know, some health issues because of age. But, you know, he was struggling with tendonitis a bit and still to play the guitar like that. Okay. So number, I've already lost track. I think this is number eight is... Yeah, this is Black Sabbath in 1970 doing uh, War Pigs. You can, I don't know if, what part of this video it is, uh, but the, either Ozzy's kind of forgotten some of the lyrics or he's just making them up for whatever reason. But as good as the whole band is in this clip, Bill Ward on the drums, he just kills it. I know, you know, a lot of people talk about John Bonham from Led Zeppelin and Keith Moon. Of course, they're great. But I think Bill Ward is right up there with them. And I will say, Ozzy, back in the day, he had great vocals. But, you know, the whole band, Tony Iommi on guitar and Geezer Butler. And with all of these performances, like the band, you know, they're almost as one. And just amazing. Number, hopefully, number seven is... Yeah, this is Devo. Uh, back in, I forget the year this was, but it's with Alan Myers on drums, the original drummer. And he was just a little guy, but he was such a force in the band. His drumming is just unbelievable. And so this is probably my favorite Devo song. Once again, the, the quality isn't the greatest, but this is Smart Patrol. No, Mr. DNA. Oh, Smart Patrol, Mr. DNA, that's it. But the whole band is just so filled with energy. <laughs> Sometimes the the performance is a little ragged. It's, you know, not but it's rock and roll. You know, they they've got the feeling, right? And that's what matters the most. <clears throat> so, whatever number this is is All right. This you have to when you're talking about uh rock performances you have to include acdc and so here we go about a minute of acdc in concert <laughs> Yeah. 
that's one. Trying to remember which let there be rock. Um, but the drumming once again is just so solid and that song's over 10 minutes long and the drum drumming is just constant, just insane. I think this should be about number five or so. Yeah, have to include this one. This is a, a pretty big uh, video on YouTube. It's got millions and millions of views. It's Focus doing their song Hocus Pocus on the Midnight Special. And I guess the story is they, they only had a certain amount of time. And so they ended up, and the song is long. It's like whatever on, on the studio version. So they had to, you know, keep it, a couple minutes shorter so what they what do they do they they speed it up <laughs> Yeah, like all four musicians are just, you know, at the top of their game. Uh, just so good. Next up, is this number four? Yeah. Now this one was on YouTube, but I had to go elsewhere to try and find it. I think it was on Facebook, actually. This is the great Rory Gallagher doing bullfrog blues and i love the uh the interaction he has with the fans and by the end of the song he's climbing up on these speakers and it's just crazy and so good <laughs> So that's Rory Gallagher, Bullfrog Blues. Next stop. Okay, I think this is number four. This is probably one of the greatest concert films ever, the concert for George. I could have picked almost any song, but this is uh, While My Guitar Gently Weeps with Eric Clapton and, of course, Paul McCartney and many, many other great. And Jeff Lynn and Ringo Starr, so many greats. Okay, I believe this is number three. And as some of you know, I had not, this was the first time I saw this band and became a fan 49 years, well, 50 years ago now. And so it took 49 years to see this footage again. They performed four songs. And when you really listen to the band, it's almost sounds like punk before punk. It is Sparks with Amateur Hour. Dink, dinky Diamond on the drums. Such a great drummer. All right, number two. You have to have, you know, for live performances by a rock band, you always have to include The Who. Here they are. And this, sadly, was the very last, uh, the last time that Keith Moon played with them. Oh, no. 
Yeah, and unlike the Rory Gallagher uh, vi video clip where the fans are on stage, you don't want to be on the stage when Pete Townsend is on the stage. <laughs> All right, number one is just one of the greatest live performances ever on television. And... At, at that time, the artist was, you know, his albums weren't selling as well, well even though I loved them. Some of the fans <clears throat> didn't really care for them. And this performance kind of brought him back and made him cool again. It is Canada's very own Neil Friggin Young doing uh, Rockin' in the Free World. And this is the full performance because I just wanted to show it all to you. So here we go. Yeah, so, and that was the first, very first time that the band, that those four members played together. And you, you saw at one point, uh, the, the other guitarist, I think his name is Frank from Crazy Horse. Uh, he, he, he goes to try and kick Neil, <laughs> but, and the drummer, Jordan, his last name, I think he drums for the Rolling Stones these days. Just a great, fantastic performance. So yeah, that's it. I would love your thoughts uh, in the comment section below. And what was your, out of these clips, what were your favorite performances? And also what are some other performances that, you know, maybe I could have included? Like I said, Queen, of course, at Live Aid is one. A Led Zeppelin clip. Uh, and a few others. But uh, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.